Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Miss Golden Locks. And today, if you couldn't tell the theme of the video, it is my Dragon Ball Z Super Review. So it finished this morning and the whole collection was just amazing. I loved it. There were bits that weren't so great and other bits. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through like an overview sort of follow some of the episodes through some of the like arcs i'm going to call them sort of like mini storylines that they had and then you know with dragon ball z they always have well dragon ball in general so they always have like one big you know scene throughout the whole um saga that they have with the sagas that they used to have like boo saga cell saga Frieza saga and stuff like that so i think what i'm going to try and do is in the description box or the comments try and put like the key points um, for certain things because there isn't too much of a breakdown because this whole um, Dragon Ball Super is about the tournament of power so yeah I think that I can put when that starts but yeah so we'll stop rambling and we'll go on from there so with Dragon Ball Super it came out after the Dragon Ball's um, Dragon Ball film that came out um, a little while ago and the first I think 10 or 12 episodes was the film which I wasn't too keen about I think for those that didn't watch the film it was good because you didn't need to see the film to start Dragon Ball Super you could have just gone straight into it however with the characters Beerus and Wiz you needed them for Dragon Ball Super so <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't really need to rewatch it again to start again because I had watched the film. But they included that for sort of the 10, 12 episodes. Um, there were quite a few changes with Dragon Ball Super, which I liked with regards to characters and things like that. So um, if we just go through some of the bits because I've got like all my notes on my tablet because I don't know if it will focus in. Yeah, it does. So like I, at first I watched a ton of it. And then um, from like the Tournament of Powers, like I might do a um, review on this. So a lot of it f is from memory. I do have my uh, laptop up as well. And then from the Tournament of Power, sort of watching it like, <gasps> and then sort of noting bits after like. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, so we'll start from the beginning, just sort of in general. We'll start with general bits before we go on to sort of episodes and things like that. So with Dragon Ball Super, I did like the fact that they brought it back. Number one, that was great. I wasn't sure. Um, a lot of people sort of after the Boo Saga don't really acknowledge Dragon Ball GT or any of those ones. It sort of stops Boo, starts the film. You know, I'm pretty much the same. All that GT and stuff like that in between, it wasn't too great in my personal opinion. So yep, yeah, Cell Saga, Freezer Saga, Boo Saga, all of that amazing. Original Dragon Ball, still amazing. But yeah, all that new sort of stuff, no one really appreciates. So the fact that they brought back Dragon Ball Super and I think a lot of people have just loved it all the way through, it was really good. So, with the um, with Dragon Ball Super coming back, I really like that they, Vegeta's always been my favourite character. Always, since day, since he first turned up with that Saiyan pride, he's been my favourite character. And a lot of people haven't seen it, as in to why, but I think now that they gave him more personality and stuff when they brought him back in, people have seen why he is my favourite character and stuff like that. So I thought that was um, a good thing with regard, a good change with regards to Dragon Ball Super. Um, they also had um, new characters as well. Some were sort of funny characters like Monica, still one of my favourites as well. A new favourite, new favourite. Um, Wiz as well with his sneak dissing and stuff like that. Beerus as well between him and his twin. They had some good moments and things like that. So yeah, they had um, some good stuff. So. Um, let's see where to start. Right. Um, okay, so this might not necessarily be all in order, but we're just sort of going to go through some of it. So with regards to, um, Dragon Ball Super, as I said, the first sort of 10, 12 episodes was all, you know, the old stuff and, uh, the old film and stuff like that. Um, they then sort of went on, they had, uh, let me, sorry, let me just double check where I got to. Yep, yeah, they then had, um... Yeah, so they had all of that bit. They had sort of bits with Frieza as well and stuff like that. So they brought him back to then send him to hell. That that confused me because they brought Frieza back for like no reason. I was literally just sort of like, oh, this is trash. 
he brought Freezer back for like five minutes. <laughs> what was the point in all this build up? Everyone's saying that Freezer's coming back for then it not to do anything like that. Um, Champa, Beerus's twin, I think that was a good, um, a good thing. So, um, with regards to some of the storylines then, I did like the Universe 6 versus Universe 7. Um, that was quite cool with Champa versus Beerus and things like that. And Monica being involved as this guy that Goku needs to be, even though he's just a delivery driver. That was it. So when Goku hit him because he wanted to test his strength and he started crying, I was like, I feel so bad for him. But at the same time, I'm just laughing and crying because it was just honestly ridiculous. So that was good. Um, let's have a look as well. So then they had the whole Trunks sort of saga era thing and that just confused the hell out of me. I'm still confused now because I didn't understand it then still don't really understand it now so we're not too sure because i don't understand why no one cares about trunks now or goten and yet every time future trunks pops up everyone's like oh my god oh my god and i'm like but trunks is here and no one's training him no one's doing anything you know nothing's happened he's got poor storyline what's going on so then he pops up from the future now and then there was a lot of back and forth back and forth back and forth even though Beerus said that time travel is forbidden and they'd already done it back in the day they were just hopping in and out in and out in and out and then with the whole um zamasu and goku black storyline now i'm still lost because me and my friend were trying to discuss this as well and we were sort of like wait so was it that he was created and it was fusion or it wasn't fusion he was just created and then where did he find the super dragon balls to create him was it back and forth back and forth there were so many crossover storylines and timelines that it literally just confused the hell out of me the only good bit about that well not good bit. the only funny bit was when um trunks was standing over um what's her name I can't remember I'll say here now and he was like giving her mouth to mouth to try and revive her and then Goku's like oh you put your lips on her and Vegeta's like you're a married man right he's like so it's like so, so Goku you, you got two kids huh and then Vegeta was just like you know what never mind <laughs> that bit killed me um I did like the power that Goku Black had and I did really like the outfit so I thought that was really cool as well. I mean, part of me was like, I really didn't want the negative connotation with black. I was like, why couldn't he just be evil Goku? Why do you have to be Goku black? I know it goes with his outfit, but I was just like, oh, we don't need no more negative connotations. Let's just, let's just call him evil Goku, you know, not Goku black. Come on, man. Come on, guys. But yeah, no, that was confusing. And then I didn't quite understand because in the end, I think they blew up the universe. Well... Goku called, I call him the Omni King, I know he's called Zeno, but uh, Omni King, so they call the Omni King, he blows everything up, and then they put them in a different timeline where there's already Trunks and the chick, and I'm just like, what? Because at one point Beerus was like, oh, but if I do this in this time, then it will affect future time, but it didn't affect the future time, so I don't really know what was going, it just confused the hell out of me. So with that whole storyline, I was just like, nope. No, I don't understand. Oh, there was one good thing that came out of that. Now, no one has been respecting Gohan since the Cell Saga. And I've always been Team Gohan. Since him and Dende came about, I was like, yes, I'm here for these two. But he's just been silent since. He's honestly been useless. Like, he just, oh, I just can't with the storylines, no nothing. So I like how in the Trunks, confusing, unnecessary saga um explained how where future trunks is and gohan was his teacher that's not the life he wanted and he's actually living the life he wanted as an academic here so that that bit i respected i was like okay well that puts the whole why is he the strongest yet the most trash to bed so yeah that that was a good thing that came came out of it but yeah didn't quite understand though as i said with the future timeline where the omni kings sort of blew everything up but then came into their timeline but so there were two omni kings i didn't get i I, I don't know that bit was just a bit more ugh, for me um but then you know it sort of followed on um so yeah you had all of that and stuff like that so that was quite good uh let's have a look just through my nose <laughs> it literally just says why is no one training trunks or go to no one cares about them <clears throat> they really didn't have much throughout this at all 
like I thought maybe they would have put an episode or two in with them defeating the um, poachers while they were on the island. Nothing. Nothing at all. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I, I, I guess. Um, maybe. Who knows? Um, right, let's have a look. Um, right, I did like as well, because they did have like some fillers throughout this, which was what was pretty cool. And um, I did like the fillers where it was just sort of like, um, what was it? It was baseball. They were playing baseball. All of a sudden, everyone was sort of cheering on um, Yamcha or Yamacha, depending on which one you watch, and stuff like that. And I saw like Vegeta with his new sort of found, you know, extra character and expression was sort of like, hmm, it's including seeing Balma. And then two twos, there was a couple episodes time skip, and she was nine months pregnant. And I was like, pun, huh? Is <coughs> is okay? So. Yeah, that, that was quite funny as well. So I did like that. As I said, I liked how they gave him so much more character and personality within this, which was quite cool. Even his training with um with Wes and Beerus, you know, he was out here as like the housemaid while he was doing his training and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And he did surpass Goku at one point before he came because he didn't realise that Vegeta was already training anyway. So yeah, I did like how they, they'd given him a lot more character and the extra training they did and stuff like that with regards to the new powers that they had. So that was quite cool. So, yeah, um, let's have a look. So, uh, let me just double check because I want to make sure that I've gone through all the different bits before we get to the tournament. So, we do have, okay, we did have the pre tournament as well that they did before they led to the big tournament, which I thought was quite cool because of, um, Gohan actually sort of, you know, he, he got batted up quite a bit, but he actually sort of, you know, did what he needed to do. Boo did really well as well. Um, Goku as well, so I think that was quite cool. Um, I did like when they were sort of getting bits back together, Kirinin as well, he started training again. I saw how he'd become a police officer because he's sort of stronger than most humans but nowhere near the Saiyan levels, he was still doing good. So when him and Goku went off to that island to sort of face their fears and stuff like that, I thought that was pretty good that he still, you know, had bits of training and stuff like that. So I thought with him levelling up and things like that, that was really good. Um, the return of 17 as well, that was quite cool. Uh, but we'll get more into that in a little bit. So yeah, they've had um, they had some good moments. Uh, let's have a look. Now, Margin Boo has been a waste of storyline this whole time. And I've been so annoyed. Because every time it comes for him, every time it's time for him to back to beef, he's sleeping. Like, first one or two times it was funny or whatever, right? But then he was there for the... Um, the tournament where it was the two universes against each other so that was cool then he got so gassed he lost all the weight he was ready to go towards the tournament of power and you mean to tell me on the day of the tournament of power he's sleeping bear in mind he got shredded he got shredded lost the weight he was training he was ready and you mean to tell me not only did he fall asleep but he put all the weight back on I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So with all this in prep for the for the tournament of power, I was just like, hmm. I, I wasn't I wasn't here for that. I was not here for that. I really wanted to see Boo bat everyone up. I also wanted to see a bit more from Gohan. I saw how he was back training with Piccolo and that that connected me back to young Gohan back in the Cell Saga days. I was like, yes. But the reason you don't get no respect is because you they didn't write anything in it for him to gain respect because ah, it just it just upsets me but we'll come back on to that one so yeah so they they decide they're going to have the tournament of power Goku try, goes around trying to recruit everyone telling everyone by the way you know you win this you win 10 million zenny or you win this or I'll do this or I'll do that but in mind he hasn't told necessarily everyone that by the way if you don't win all the universes are going to be destroyed so you know they get 17 which i thought was a really good um addition because no one's seen anything from 17 for a while so i thought that was pretty cool considering the androids were just insane before so i thought that was good um they get 18 as well so they thought that was good um they even brought back tien which i thought was quite cool they had a little mini filler storyline which was a bit weird but but cool as well so i thought okay master roshi as well bye guy since Dragon Ball days. So yeah, they brought in Kirin in as well, which was quite cool. So they had the team, including Boo, who then fell asleep as as we just went through because he's become a, a, a waste of 
a, a waste of storyline. So then they recruited Frieza. Now, when they went to recruit Frieza, I wasn't too sure. Because I had forgotten he was even in this by this point. Because I started watching... I started watching Dragon Ball Super. I stopped because I was like, oh, I want to watch the tournament all in one go. I don't want to have to be waiting week by week for episodes. So I stopped watching for a good three, four months. And then, like two weeks ago, I marathoned it because the final episode was the only episode I had to wait one week for. So yeah, about two. So I marathoned through all of it. So then when they went and recruited for each other, I was like, hmm. Considering he was still, he was in hell. And, well, he wasn't quite in hell because he wouldn't even, you know, start to have remorse for his sins. That's why he hadn't even been transferred to hell yet. So I was a bit like, hmm, I don't know about this. And then the whole thing with him and Goku and stuff like that, I was like, oof, I don't know. But they recruited Frieza and then it was onto the tournament from there. So uh, let's have a look just to sort of see what bits we've got. Because I got some notes that I made throughout of it. So... Um, so I see Vegeta and Goku did do some teamwork at the start I noticed how Gohan was like this is the plan I'm organising it Goku was like I'm passing the organising of this over to you and no one stuck to it the same is just psh, straight off everyone was all all disappearing and stuff like that and Vegeta and Goku teamed up against the um, three brothers um, which was really good that, that fight scene was like damn like Vegeta and Goku actually they I like their storyline of their character development throughout all of this, you know, even though they still got that hard-headed hatred, not necessarily hatred, but that hard-headed competition between the two of them. I think in certain sense that worked because in the, um, when they had to do fusion during the, um, Zamasu and Goku Black Future Trunk saga, whatever, it was sort of like, hmm, well, I'm not joining with him, I'm not joining with him sort of thing, which they still had. And I think that, um, competition between the two of them did actually work out a bit for them um but yeah so the fact that they would work together and they fought them that was really good um now even though Kiranin was first out <laughs> which you couldn't have written anything more better than that to be fair with him always dying first the fact, even when Frieza popped up when he was resurrected I just looked at him and was like didn't I kill you before I felt it in here and the replay as well I was just like you're disrespectful <laughs> There's no other word than just disrespectful. So, yeah, I mean, he was first out, although he did, like, have a good trick because he's always been that cunning fighter. He's never been the strongest. He's always been a cunning fighter. So when he flipped up the shoe and destroyed the guy's sense of smell and then managed to beat him, that, that was pretty cool. So I like that. Um, Tien's sacrifice, that that was pretty good. I, I didn't mind his, his role within it because he wasn't always one of the strongest either. But that was good. Um... Master Roshi with that almost cheating with his demon seal, whatever that, whether that was included or shouldn't have been included. I was just there like, <gasps> but no, his demon demon seal trick, um, that was pretty good. His final Kamehameha wave as well, that was immense. Then when he almost died, I teared up. I couldn't, I, I couldn't. I was like, no, I'm not doing this no more. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Like the whole thing with him, though, Frieza and the others. Like he did have a good role within the tournament. He did well. I'm, I'm, I respect what he did. So yeah. Um, then the whole Frieza. He, he just, he was missing most of the tournament at the start. I was like, where's he been? Like, where has he been? So yeah, I didn't quite understand where he sort of disappeared popped up and he was just sort of cunning and threw out and stuff like that then with the fight now because I was marathon in it I had so many episodes I was just like oh um you know when's everyone gonna pop up and stuff like that and then they had all sort of different fights which I did appreciate the different characters with regards to the different fights but I was like I want to see V fights I want to see you know the good fights but they did actually have some good fights to, to be fair um with regards to the, the fighters i think universe 2 had a couple of good fighters as well so i'm just going to insert pictures of stuff of like some of the fighters because i'm not going to insert any scenes because i don't want any of my videos to get taken down or anything i don't know what i can put and can't put and i don't want to put full-on fight scenes and stuff and then you know youtube take my video down but i'm going to insert pictures and things like that of the different fighters and things like that but yeah it was it was good so yeah some of the fighters that they had they did have some good moments and things like that um 
yeah some of it though they did have little bits of filler in within the fights as well which I was a bit like mm, just just get to the, I want to see the action and stuff like that um but yeah what Frieza did to Frost was rude so rude I wasn't expecting that with the whole thing versus Gohan because everyone's like has he just has he just turned on Gohan hasn't he like what is going on and then he turned up I was like the rudeness and then because you're there with all those powerful angels the omni kings and all sorts of and just gone that was it so you don't try and do anything within that i was just like oh gosh um then with um vegeta protecting his protege um kaba from universe six i thought that was pretty cool as well he's just sort of like well he protected him but he then punched him in the stomach so I mean, he did it in the only freezer way possible, which I thought was pretty good. Um, their sort of master um, student kind of relationship, I thought that was pretty cool. From before, when Universe 6 fought Universe 7, I thought it was pretty cool. So then when they um, came back again um, in the Tournament of Power, I thought that was pretty good as well. Vegeta is just... He was just batting up guys for funsies. Like, he disappeared off at first and was just going, picking people off, picking people off, picking people off. Like, they could have had a bit more of... Because I think he picked off a lot more people than what was shown. Because he disappeared and he was sort of helping here, helping there. He was just fighting for the funsies of it. Like, it was good. And he, like, go, he wasn't like Goku sort of easing into it. He was just... He would just go straight to Super Saiyan Blue every so often. Just... And here, and here, and here. So, it was pretty good... Um, with regards to Super Saiyan Blue. I did actually enjoy um, the new Super Saiyan. Um, I think the red one was, the, the ruby one was at first before Blue. Blue is my favourite colour anyway, so I always quite liked the Super Saiyan Blue, which is the God level. Um, although, when you set the bar so high, like Super Saiyan God, like, what's above that? Is there anything above that? And then you've got the new sort of other bits. You just sort of think, where, you know, you've already named it so high. How high does it go? And I thought that was pretty good. Um, let's have a look. Okay, and then we've got number 17 and number 18 as a duo team. They worked really well together. I did like their fight scenes and their combinations as well. They were doing really good. They were, they were doing jobs. Because they were Android, so they could get hurt, but they couldn't run out of energy at the same time. It was a bit of a weird sort of combination but i think it was still pretty good with the two that they could do so them two fighting together I, I was a little bit gassed i was like yes this this twin teamwork they've got going on was pretty good and it had more of a human side to 18 but i mean she she you know leaves the altar um 17 so she's not really about that stuff i mean never really has been then jiren when he came in, I was like, yo. From the time Goku saw him, he was like, I want you. So I think that's what kind of had me anxious because from the time he turned up, Goku wanted to fight him and everything kept popping up in the way, popping up in the way, popping up in the way before that fight. So the whole time I'm watching these other fights, like, yeah, they're cool or whatever, but I want to see this. Like, you're building it up, let me see this. So yeah, um, when he sort of batted everyone up a little bit and then started meditating in the middle of the fight, I was like, you're rude. And then, like, when the others tried to pick him off while he was meditating, and just his field and his energy was just had guys bouncing off of him. I was like, the power of this guy is, is immense. Then, Ultra Instinct. I'm here for it. I'm here for Wiz's explanation as well, because I think when you sort of hear Ultra Instinct, you're just kind of like... Mm. It just sounds so far-fetched, but I think when Wiz sort of explained it and stuff like that, I think that was pretty cool with regards to Ultra Instinct. Then the round one of Jiren versus Goku, that was pretty good because they had like, I think they had like three or four rounds in total, which made the, the episode season really good towards it. Um, you also had, um, let me just double check, Gohan and Goku when they were fighting the two different universes, because I think... Gohan was fighting um, Universe 6 and I think Goku was fighting Universe 2 and they were at the same time and then they both did like it wasn't it was two, two different peoples but they both did their Kamehameha wave at the same time yeah that father-son moment I was I was almost in tears I was like I'm so here for this right now like <sighs> it was too much it was too much then you had um so then those two actually when those two universes got erased I've 
I felt that in here. Then um, Gohan and the rest of the verses, Universe 3, and then the teamwork before they fought that huge thing. Um, I'll put the pictures in of, of everything because they fought that sort of cyborg combination thing from from that universe. It was just insane, but that, that was a really good fight. I enjoyed that. That was um, pretty good as well. Um, then when... I think it was, yeah, Jiren versus Vegeta and Goku, because they were fighting at the same time. And this is what I was saying about Vegeta and Goku being um, so competitive, because they weren't fighting in sync to fight him. He couldn't quite catch his rhythm to fight them, I think that's how it was explained, which I thought was pretty cool between the two of them. And then when Jiren was like, you can sleep now, warrior, to Vegeta, and then the Omni Kings were like acting it out. I was in tears. That had... That had me crying. I didn't understand as well why the Justin team were dabbing. I was like, why, why do you guys pose like this? Like, what, what is you doing in 2018? But that, that was pretty good as well. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, we had Universe 7 versus Universe 11. Because I think by the time they um, took out Universe 3, most of them had been gone by then. Which was alright. Um, right, so then you had... Goku, I think, because he fought him two or three times, when you had Goku fighting using strategy to get rid of Jiren, not just brute strength, to try and sort of knock him out of it, out of the arena, I thought that was pretty good as well, because you haven't really seen that from Goku. Sometimes you see strategy. Okay, I almost forgot a key character as well, because I forgot about Hit, with regards to his ability to time skip. I don't know how I haven't written his name down more, so I do apologise that this is a bit skipped about, because right at the beginning, beginning with the Universe 6 vs Universe 7, Hit was one of their best fighters and his time skip ability was what was amazing because Vegeta fought him first I think, no way, yeah Vegeta fought him first and Goku was watching which is why he managed to see sort of what he was doing with regards to his time skip as he was watching him so I think with regards to him and then Goku putting a hit out on himself for Hit to attack him in that filler episode so they could fight. That was pretty good as well. Long, but pretty good. Because why would you put a hit out on yourself by an assassin who can time skip and kills his opponents in one go? But you know how Goku is to try and test his patience. So him... I don't think... He didn't have a lot, a big role during the Tournament of Power, to be fair. Considering his role earlier on was so great. But yeah, he, he deserved an honourable mention because he is actually an amazing fighter. So that that was pretty good. Um, so where did I get to? Yep, yeah, Goku using strategy. So yeah, he didn't just use his brute strength as he usually does sometimes and go in hard-headed. He was using strategy to try and fight Jiren, which thought was pretty good. Um, and you could tell as well Goku was getting under his skin sometimes as well, which is what was pretty good. Um, Toppo versus Frieza and Toppo versus Vegeta as well. Amazing. That was pretty good. Um, with regards to the fight, because he was, when he got his, um, God of Destruction powers, I can come to the top of my head, that, that was pretty amazing as well, so, yep, uh, let's have a look, Jiren's punch, that was insane, yep, I remember as well, with, um, yeah, as I said, Jiren fighting Vegeta and Goku, as well, because it was Vegeta Blue, Goku Blue with Kaioken, um, their teamwork as well was pretty good. Um, as soon as they get together, it's a madness. It's always a madness, them too. Honestly, their their storyline and character development, as I said earlier, was just amazing throughout this. I, I'm telling you, the writers, everyone, everyone involved, just apart from that Trunk Saga. That was nonsense. However, other than that, came through. So then we've got um, Freezer 17 and Goku versus Jiren. Now that... That was insane, the teamwork between the three of them, because it's not three that you'd put together. Um, I do have to say, though, with regards to before that, because I kind of skipped ahead a bit because I missed a line. Vegeta's final push, the way he went out, was respectable, and the fact that he gave the last of his energy to Goku, because I think Goku had been Ultra Instinct once or twice already, and his body was just giving up. Everyone was surpassing their powers. The Saiyans from um, Universe 6 all levelled up, because they were sort of like looking to... Goku and Vegeta to train them and stuff like that while they were fighting them. Goku's fight against um, the Saiyans in there, that, that was a good fight. I was kind of like, 
Goku, you're wasting energy on fights you don't need to be wasting them on, sort of thing. But because obviously with his beef with Jiren, they can't use Senju beans. That was one of the biggest things. They can't use Senju beans during these fights. So whatever energy you have is what you have. So when um, Vegeta gave him some energy, I think Frieza gave out some energy as well, sneakily behind a rock so no one could see as well. Um, I thought that was quite cool. My whole time I was like, don't let him get caught. Please tell me this is right. You know, so yeah, that, that was pretty good. Um... And then, yeah, Goku's body giving out when he went, when he mastered Ultra Instinct. I thought that was his body giving out. Everyone thought that it was Frieza, like, which I wouldn't put it past Frieza. But the way Goku's back was, his whole, it was like his whole, black, uh, whole back sprayed out blood. So I'm like, Frieza usually does the little point. So I was like, if it was just like a little circular point, then I was like, okay, maybe that could have been Frieza. But because it was like his whole back gave out, I was like, okay, that can't be that can't be Frieza, but a lot of people did think it was. Um, when Goku was in Ultra Instinct and he had defeated Jiren, I was like, if he doesn't shoot him already, because Goku always trying to save a bad guy. He, he, he like Captain Save a Hole sometimes. He, he always trying to save a bad guy, and you just don't, don't they don't want to be saved. Don't save them. As J. Cole would say, they don't want to be saved. And I was just like, oh. So then when his back gave out, I was like, couldn't breathe. Then out of nowhere, after Freezer's been missing for God knows how long, he just pops up again out of nowhere. Like, honestly, this guy was missing in action most of the time. But when it counted, he would just pop up. He was very... He's so cunning, strategic and underhanded. But I, I rate it because he did what he needed to do. So then when it was Freezer, Goku and Seventeen with that final push in the final episode to get rid of um, Jiren, I thought that was good. I really liked the fact that Jiren was this lone character, doesn't trust anyone. Everyone around him had been killed, so he only got more and more strength so he could be powerful, so that he was never in that sort of position again. But then when Toppo and the rest of them were like, Jiren, go Jiren and stuff like that, he did power up again. I was like, see, that was that was the power of trust. And I think in the final episode, they were like, you know, that's the power of having a connection with someone. Toppo's like, I didn't know you to be a coward. Didn't you think you made a connection with us in that final episode? He's just kind of like, mm, okay, I guess. Um, so yeah, I thought that was good, and I like Seventeen's wish, because the whole time, I thought that they would have only brought back maybe two or three universes, but they brought them all back, which I thought was pretty good. So I did like that. Um, so yeah, overall, I, I really did enjoy Dragon Ball Super. I liked the, I really liked the tournament music. I thought that was amazing. Like, I have that on my phone, because I thought that was really good. So yeah, it's, um, it's been a... It's been a pleasure. I have to say, it was really good, really great to watch. Everyone's sort of like, oh, Dragon Ball Super, but I'm going to be wearing this shirt everywhere. Everywhere. Because it was good. The only thing, though, with regards to it, as I said, Boo, I just wanted a little more from Boo. Just a little bit more. I also would have liked some training for Trunks and, and Goten. I, just a little bit of storyline. Um, also, I would have liked for, um, yeah, I would like some storyline for them. I'd have liked boo to have done something now gohan doesn't get any respect but if you don't write anything respectable for him like all the saiyans the three saiyans from universe six um vegeta i think he, he just batted everyone up so he just gets respect anyway and goku found a new form all the other three saiyans from universe six found new forms and they're like goku is the only uh, gohan is the only saiyan that didn't find a new form throughout the whole of this and i was like Can we write some respect in for him, please? Just, just a little bit. That's that's all I'm asking for. But yeah, so Seventeen made the wish. I just like how the fact that um, if Seventeen didn't wish for something that wasn't selfless, then uh, they'd all been erased. They're on the spot. Then ones where you think you've survived, and turns out maybe no, you haven't. I was just like, oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, everyone's sort of wishing. I thought. Me personally, I wanted at least Universe 6, Universe 11, and Universe 2 to come back. Which I think is the love universe with um, uh, Hells as their um, God of Destruction. I, I, I really liked those three universes throughout the Tournament of Power. I thought it was good. I also liked how they didn't really have a bad guy. Like, they had people that were doing their jobs, which then sort of made them bad to them. Like Jiren, he wasn't a bad guy, he was just trying to stay alive. The Omni King, not necessarily a bad guy, however, at the same time, I mean, he, he just destroyed universes for funsies. I was like, okay, well, not really a bad guy, bad king. The Omni King's the, 
they're so cute right at the end as well final episode and the only kids are like goku what are we doing next the way beerus and them man just shut him up and like, like nope they're like thank you but we're gonna leave now okay goku don't do nothing then goku's like pound it and their little hands pounded it i was like they're so cute. At first I was like, why have they got these stupid rules? Why is this tournament about erasing all the... But by the end of it, I was like, little Omni Kings, they're so cute. But yeah, it, it was good overall. The only thing is, with last week, with most of the fighting in it last week, and this week, there was a little bit of fighting and then the wrap up, I'd have preferred it as a one hour special where I could have just sat there and been like, <gasps> through all the fighting and then had that come down with the, okay, it's ended well, blah, 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 all in one moment. Because I think, I, I like marathon in my stuff so I mean I'm watching One Piece at the moment and I'm like I know the current saga has been ongoing for like over a year now but I'm not watching it or starting it until it's finished because I like to marathon my episodes so I can skip bits that need skipping there's no fillers for me blah blah blah, blah so I can just you know watch it all um so yeah I, have, I would have preferred the final episode to be a one hour special but as I said this whole whole season's been amazing it's actually been legit real good. I've got like DBZ posters on my wall and stuff like that. So as you can see, my Funko Pops, I'm, I'm a DBZ fan and this did really bring it back for me. So yeah, I heard apparently they're going to do a film at the end of this year. Some people are speculating end of 2018 and then they might do, um, they might bring it back or something like that because the support for this has been overwhelming it wasn't sort of like gt or one of them where a lot of people were divided the support for this has been it's been amazing and stuff like that and the way it ended with freezer they left it open to bring it back because freezer he the way he came back at the end after he got resurrected from beerus right at the end no sorry by wiz beerus authorized it and wiz resurrected him right at the end and he's like you guys know I'm not going to stop my evil way. I was like, jeez. And then Goku's like, you know, I'll destroy you again. And I was like, jeez. Yes. So, all that nostalgia, the good writing, I've liked, liked it all so far. So, yeah, this is my DBZ review. Um, if you feel free to comment below. Just see, you know, what your opinions are, whether you agree with them, disagree. You know, whether you're not, not, not Team Vegeta. I've always been Team Vegeta, I'm just saying. I lost my Vegeta shirt, though. I'm going to get another one. But yeah, I, I just think it's been it's been great. There, as I said, the trunks are... If you could wrap your head around that, comment below and explain to me what the hell happened because I'm still lost. I just don't understand with the time skip. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like it wasn't forbidden. I was just, oh, so lost. And then the fact that they fixed it in their time but didn't fix it in the future time. Yeah, so lost. But yes, that is it for today's video. We've got a couple more videos. I know there wasn't one last week, so I do apologise. But we've got a couple more coming this week. I might put out another one Wednesday, so you have a few. Um, I've got a lot of filming to do. So yeah, the videos will still be coming weekly on a Sunday, unless announced otherwise on my Instagram or Twitter, which are in my banner on my channel. So yeah, feel free to follow in there as well. And I will see you in the next video.